Hello everyone and welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie and this is the stuff that I pulled last night that's going out. Those are uh, Monday's orders I guess that are going out today. It's raining a little bit right now so I'm gonna shoot this clip and probably list a couple things then I'll get out of here. So uh, I've had I've had a few questions now about these lights, these new lights that I bought and uh, this table which I actually put a link for finally and i have some thoughts on this stuff and a lot of the a lot of my thoughts will apply to not only these ring lights but probably a lot of other ones because they're all pretty similar um there might be different sizes or different levels of brightness depending on the leds they use um but i'm sure sure they're all pretty much the same um the ones i got are these newer i'm not even newer I guess I guess that's how you say it. This brand, 18 inch, link down below. Uh, there are other ones you can get cheaper. You can probably get something somewhat similar for 80 bucks or so. Will it be the same? I don't know. These are the only ones I've ever had uh, as far as ring lights go. So uh, first of all, the stands these come with are pretty nice. Like they're they're cheap stands. Don't get me wrong about that, but they're nice because they have that. They actually have the spring in them that cushions that last bit. So whenever you release it, if it drops a little bit, it has a cushion impact. And it does it on all the levels there. So that's a nice little feature that I look for that I like. And these these are light. And most of their center, unless I mean, like if you have them tilted all the way down, which you can do with this. To hold it. There we go. Um the one thing that I will say, whenever you loosen this and you adjust the angle, it feels like you're breaking it. <laughs> Unless I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think I am. But watch. It sounds like I'm breaking the thing. But this is one thing I like about it. Look how flat you can go with it. That's one really cool thing about these, these lights is if I want to get... Now, I could go higher, right? Like so... Go higher and then now I'm shooting parallel with work surface if I'm shooting something flat. That's really cool how you can do that. Like that's that's something you shouldn't take for granted because that's a hard angle to get with a lot of other lights. So, and again, this applies to all ring lights that'll be set up like this. They'll all be able to hit that same angle. So not necessarily just these. Um, another thing I really like about these ring lights is that like let's say and i did this just the other day that poster up there that mickey mouse poster let me adjust my angle again and you know what just for this i'm gonna unplug this so i don't have to drag it but if i want to take a picture of that i'll just loosen this up again straight up tighten her down and then bring the stand over there and this that's one thing these are light then i can just stand it here and look how tall it is the light stands are i don't know how tall maybe six feet or something but i can get it right on there uh right at the level of that that thing i it's real easy to hit the angle you want to hit that's that's the point i'm making now uh are there drawbacks one big drawback I see with this particular brand or the, these particular lights is whenever you turn them on, okay, I don't know, I hope this comes through on, let me, I'll get, if I get closer, there we go. Okay, so that's a low setting, all right? And whenever you go to a higher setting, this is weird, you see another bank of LEDs light up, but they're not the same color. Why aren't they the same color? They're a little warmer, and that's not just an illusion. Like, you can actually see the, the color temperature of the light change as you go brighter <laughs> because it's like two different colors. That's, my one, that's the biggest criticism I have of these things is why aren't those additional LEDs that come in as you go brighter why aren't they the exact same LEDs? I don't understand that. I don't understand why they use different color temperature LEDs. Uh, 
that that is one thing that i don't like uh another thing and this is not going to be exclusive to this light or anything but it's just it's just the way it is uh and this is what you may not get with a soft box as much if you chose to go that route is if you get the wrong angle look at that can you see that let me see if you get the wrong angle you can get a ton of glare now fortunately it's easy to tip typically you can just kind of change either the angle of attack of the light or you can just move the item just a little bit at like a little different angle and then you can avoid avoid all that glare but there's a lot of glare with these sometimes so whenever you're doing shiny stuff now flat stuff real smooth even lighting like a lot of these hat photos, um, I found like it's really nice, really smooth. So, as far as the lighting itself goes, I really like this is the good thing about a ring light. If you look, I have one light here, one light, and the shadows are real soft. Not a whole lot of shadows. The the item is really well lit. So, that's the good thing. Oh, whenever I shoot, I do turn this light out. Because if I leave it on, you see on the light table, I think you can see that. So I'm usually shooting just like this. And uh, yeah, so that, that's what I think about these. Um, about these. They're really good. They aren't, they aren't perfect. Nothing's ever perfect, right? But they can hit pretty much any angle easily. They're light. Um, they don't take up much room uh they're bright even lighting there is some glare color temperature issues on these particular ones um but i don't i don't think it affects the uh photos adversely so that's my opinion of these lights i'm glad i got them and uh yeah i'm gonna keep on trying to get better at using them because i haven't had them had them that long so uh the light table uh what do i think about it i like it I do like this light table. Uh, the, the one thing I would say is that if you're going for perfect white, I think it's gonna be hard to get with this because this is kind of an off-white gray kind of thing. This is like a neutral, in my opinion anyway, this is kind of a neutral gray thing. Unless you blow it out with light from behind, I'm lighting it up a little bit with this smaller ring light, but I don't mind the gray, um, but if, if you're looking for for pure white, I don't know if this is the best way to go. There's probably a better way to get it. Um, I, I don't really care about pure white that much, but if you do, and I know most people do, then this might not be the thing. Although, uh, I, I know a lot of people like doing the um, software edits and stuff. I don't like the pure white. I find uh, whenever people do, it's just my opinion, whenever people use the uh, the edits to white out the background, I find a lot of times it's just so harsh and just like distracting. It's like, ugh, like it's glaring on me like when that background is pure white like that. I don't know, it just doesn't look natural and I don't think it helps um, my opinions, so. Anyways, that's what I think about this stuff. Uh, this is like 50 bucks. And this is the kind of thing where if you're DIY kind of person, you could totally do, do something. Like you could just like hang a roll of paper or something. You could come up with something yourself. Build something out of wood, whatever, right? I'm just, I'm just showing y'all what I got. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it though. And I haven't had it fall <laughs> again since I showed it to y'all the first time the other day. And, uh, yeah, the, the cool thing though, I like, you could put like, uh, you could put paper of different colors and stuff like that in there too. And this, this should be pretty easy to replace if I ever need to do that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's been working out so far, just some thoughts and opinions. Uh, oh, whenever I shoot, whenever I shoot on this setup, since I've kind of, been focusing on taking better pictures i've been using this eos m50 pretty happy with it it's pretty light does a good job uh 
this is I shoot it on manual mode and it can change a little bit as far as shutter speed but I shoot manual one one twenty fifth uh, f6.3 at ISO 400 and I pretty much leave it locked in on that I will adjust um, like I said I will adjust the uh, shutter speed a little bit based on whether I'm shooting something that is light or dark light being more reflective it'll overexpose something that's really dark soaking up the light I'll have to bump my exposure up just a little bit you know it I might be between 60 1 1 60th 1 60th and uh, maybe 1 150th on shutter speed but typically I'm somewhere around 100 like 1 1 100th but uh yeah I'm pretty happy with the way things are going I'll keep on tweaking things a little bit I wanted to share with y'all my thoughts though on this uh photography setup well it is much later and uh we did record guys without jobs it's uploading now as a matter of fact uh, so that'll be published later on today four o'clock central central time that should be up so uh check that out link down below of course uh the links i i i I tried to redo the description section of these videos to add some more links and um, information about different things I get asked about a lot. So uh, might wanna check those out, I guess. Um, and as some of them are affiliate links, some of them are not. Like I gave uh, links to that monitor I use, that's actually Sam's Club. The shelves, the metal shelves, that's Sam's Club also. Give some information about that little uh, TV I used to test stuff with. I get asked about that a lot. So try to put a lot of information down there uh, for you guys. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's pull some orders. I'm gonna go ahead and pull orders tonight. I did that last night too and it worked out pretty well. First up, I sold a hat. This is a Columbia, is it a Columbia PFG hat? Let me go look. Yes, this is a Columbia PFG fishing hat. And I think it's going to be on this stack, I believe. Or it might be back here even. Let's see, is that it? No, that's not it. The hats will start getting... I've listed them all. So they'll start getting easier and easier for me to locate as we go. And this is it right here sold this Columbia PFG uh, straw hat. This is a nice feeling hat. I think I got $19.99 plus shipping on top for that. And this is the photo that I took of the hat and uh, I, I, I like it. Like like I said, the, the background is not pure white, it's gray. Some people may not appreciate that, but what I do like is the, the lighting is real nice and even, it's not blown out. Um, get a real feel for the texture of the item and everything. I, I like it and there's no shadows or anything like that. No hard shadows. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Another thing about the gray and uh, this is the next thing I'm pulling actually is this this guy right here. Another, another thing about the gray you could still kind of take white photos of white stuff against it if you want to and there's still enough contrast for it to work out. Uh, like that that photo there is pretty decent too i think so uh yeah anyway i sold this sega genesis um i guess it's a bundle it's in here this sold uh for 99.99 plus shipping on top to dorian so thank you very much dorian i appreciate it uh this is for a sega genesis two controllers the hookups and one game there's a game called silver that's, that's coming with that and i sold a hat <laughs> this is a brown wool fedora that i called an indiana jones style hat which i use that description on a few of these hats is this it this might be it no, it's not this hat either. This is a cool hat though. That's a Scala Classico. It's not this hat. That's actually the, uh, a genuine Stetson hat there. 
So it's gonna be on this other stack. Uh, this looks like it's probably it. Yep, this is it right here. This uh, this hat sold for $16.99 plus shipping on top. I sold a hat. I ended up selling a few. I think it's this one right here, as a matter of fact. I sold a few that were not branded. I, I wanted to get all like hats with brand names in them, but I ended up with a few that didn't have it. Uh, this one sold for $11.99 plus shipping on top. And Michael bought a uh, K-Woman comic. Actually, a pretty expensive one. Let's see, it's CW185. So here, the comic box is getting lower and lower. Here she is. Here's our girl, the cave woman. Let me see. Oh, there are, there are some bits there that I can't really show you. I covered up some of them right there but there's some other bits in there too so anyways uh did it have a coa with it yeah this had a coa on the back too so anyway thank you very much michael i appreciate it hope you like it edward said hey lonnie i bought a hat <laughs> and he did he bought this stetson hat right here it's a uh it's a suede hat suede leather hat and it, it looks old look at that it looks like some old school old school work there so thank you very much to edward i appreciate it and i hope you like it i sold a hat uh mike i think mike's a viewer because just because of the account name looks like mike's probably a viewer he bought this guy right here this uh black cowboy hat this is gold mine 5x old west I know 5X, I think 5X has something to do with the quality of the hat or something like that. Uh, made in Mexico. So thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it. I hope you like it. Rose is back again for some more of this stuff. Um, some more of these pumps. Rose bought a Mira and a Catwoman. So let me grab this down and... Okay, we need to get a... Let me make, Let me double check and make sure uh da, 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 da. yep catwoman and these are disappearing pretty quickly so there's your catwoman rose all right let's see mira here we go there's a mirror right there uh, thank you very much rose always appreciate the business and i hope you like the stuff Sold, sold one of my favorite things to sell that I'm quickly running out of one of these key fobs. Uh, $69.99 plus shipping on top for that little guy. Widmark bought one of my last uh, Funko Pops, a Batgirl from mid A. It's a gold Batgirl. Let's go get her. Here she is, right here. Just a few left on this shelf now. There is the gold back girl, and I will definitely put her in a pop protector. So thank you very much, Widmark. I appreciate it. Sarah shelf. This one's been listed a little while, I think. Um, right here. I never come to this shelf because I don't have much listed on it. Uh, some of this stuff. Actually, there's only a few things that are listed. But this is what I was coming for. This little Batman Forever figure set sold for $18.99 plus shipping on top. I have one Hot Wheels car going out today. That is from the Candace 3 box. Have a Mickey Weiss or Weiss. Here we go. Uh, Motor City Muscle Car. Oh, it's a Dodge Dart. Red Dodge Dart going out. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping on top. So um, it's funny how this how this goes. Like I'll sell a bunch of pops and then it, then today I have one going out and then I'll sell on just a ton of Hot Wheels. Today I have one going out and then uh, selling a bunch of hats. And later on, those will kind of disappear. It's funny how things just move in and out of the shed. 
And the last item I pulled, I already pulled it because it was kind of difficult to get to, is this big 16 by 20 photograph. It's got the, uh, it's got a WNBA hologram down there. But this is an autographed Sue Bird photograph. And I don't have any kind of documentation or anything with it. But uh, yeah, I was, I was surprised whenever I looked up that comp and I don't, I don't even know how I came up with $80 plus shipping, but um, I want to say it was probably worth point. I found like an older comp that was pretty high and I didn't see anything else like it. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just go with the $80 and sit on it and see what happens. And honestly, I didn't think it would sell for that, but uh, it did. Well, how long has this been? Like three, four months? Uh, worth the wait, $80 plus shipping on top. So. That is everything that is going out today. Thank y'all very much for buying. Everyone that bought some stuff. And I will see you guys again very soon. Oh, don't forget, podcast will be up in just a little bit. So um, you can check it out on the YouTube channel or Apple Podcast or most places you find podcasts. It'll be there. So take care, guys and girls. Bye-bye.